Hi, George. Tell us. Yes, I would love to speak to you about your book, Barris Cars of the Stars. Tell us about it. Well, this is exciting thing about it is because it's about the stars and their cars, not the TV or the movie they were in, like Farrah Fawcett with a Fox event, Elvis Presley with his big Cadillac, and even a good little story about Michael Jackson. Michael brings his Rolls Royce in here, and he says, George, I want you to paint my car a pretty black. I said, okay, Michael, no problem. But he says, it's got a few little nicks and things. I said, well, we'll take care of it, Michael, don't worry. We know we did all your family's car. Well, okay, so we had to go out and get some Band-Aid tape. And he went around the Rolls Royce, and he put this Band-Aid tape wherever there was a little nick or a little scratch. So the whole Rolls Royce had white spots all over it. So just to show you some of the stories that we get on the celebrities with their cars that they want done, see? And even Ringo Starr, he comes to me and he says, they're gonna do a promotion with me, with my 57 Chevy that I went ahead and did some flames on. He says, but I wanna get on a street where all the telephone poles just fade away. So we get in the helicopter, and we're flying all over Los Angeles. We find a place in, over on Slauson Avenue that had telephone poles all the way down. We go over there, we take the Chevy, put it in the middle of the street, he looks at it and he comes over and he jumps on him and he says, George, this isn't what I wanted. So, so you can see the exciting things that many of the celebrities do with their own cars. And tell me the car that you're most proud of that you made for a celebrity. Well, that's, that's a very important because if you had a family of 10 children and as gorgeous as you are, your brother or your sister, you still would love. And I happen to be fortunate to have thousands of wonderful people, not only celebrities, but movies and TVs, and even the uh, old days, and even now the 21st century, I'm doing cars for, uh, like hybrids for Brad Pitt, DiCaprio, and different people like that, just to give you an idea that there's one of the Priuses right here, Ultra Fuel, it's interesting. So. Whether it was in the 80s, and the 50s, and in the 60s, the 80s, or 90s, or the 2000s, cars will always be a major part of everybody's life. And I know a lot of celebrities in here want cars made already. Well, a lot of them are like it because a car is a, a second most important people thing in everybody's life. Our home is first. You live there. But you live an awful lot in your automobile, whether it's transportation, whether you're a collector, whether you want to drive a Rolls Royce, you want to drive a Duesenberg, or a Prius, or a Hot Rod, or a Toyota. It's always a major part of everybody's life. But I tell you one thing I would really like to do. I would like to design a car for you. I was <laughs> A gorgeous, look at this gorgeous blonde, are we beautiful get, girl. Yeah, are, you, are we giving a car away tonight? Can I be the winner? Yeah, we can find one that we'll find. We got something back there that looks just about like you. And it's not a monster car, and it's not a Batmobile, but I'm sure that could be the, the Red Demon. We did one called the Red Demon. A Challenger with a big uh, 500 horsepower engine, and it just smokes. That looks like you. Well, you have a talent, and thank you so much for speaking to us. It's my pleasure. You're amazing, George. Thank you. Great.